Alright, so as you can see, it's winter time. Well, fall in Anchorage. It's swiftly approaching winter time. Temperature is about 25 degrees this morning. And I needed to winterize my Airstream. So, one of the things I did is drain the hot water heater. To do that, hold this little plug out right there. Here it is, three quarter inch little nylon plug. And I opened up here in the compartment this valve here to let everything drain out. There's a couple more spots you need to uh, open up here on your last trip out so you can let everything drain away. Two tires on the driver's side here. You see that there's a little valve with the pet cock. Right there, that's your main water drain. And then let's turn a little bit to the left. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Up under there is two other little valves. Those are the low points for your water lines. You open those up on your last trip and you let everything drain out. By the time you get home, there won't be any other water left in your system. So for about $3.80, I got everything I needed to connect my antifreeze delivery system to my water pump. So that included a nylon hose barb, a half inch inner diameter to half inch MIP right here, uh, which is this right here. And then I bought four feet of uh, half inch clear tubing. So before you get ready to go ahead and add your antifreeze, one more thing you gotta do, and that is get in this little section underneath your wardrobe and open up this panel right here. And I've already done it, but uh, turn the knob right there for your hot water bypass. This way you're not going to be sending any uh, antifreeze into your hot water tank as you run the pump. The compartment right here below the refrigerator, when you open it up, it's got a little wall here. And it's these couple of screws that I undid right there to access the panels, uh, the pump right behind there. And you don't even need the pump, you just need uh, where the fresh water tank comes into the pump. I uh, looked at the water pump, found where it's got an inlet strainer, and that hose, you can see here, goes around, comes back around, and then terminates right here, which plugs into the fresh water tank. So what I did is I went and got a nylon hose barb for a half inch, Got some clear half inch tubing here that I'm going to rug, run right down here into my uh, my RV antifreeze. I'm going to start the pump. Hopefully that will draw everything we need in through the uh, inlet strainer through the pump and distribute it out to all the uh, various receptacles. All right, let's see here. Turn on my pump. Hear it running. It's now being drawn from my bottle. See it going down there, and the hose through my strainer, and hopefully to all of my various uh, water sources. The other things I'll be doing before I put it away for the winter is go ahead and removing the uh, batteries. I'm going to take them inside, leave them in my garage on a battery minder, and then I planned on uh, removing the LCD TVs just because it gets uh, pretty cold here in Anchorage for a long time, and I don't want the LCD to be uh, hurt by the cold weather. That's it for now. Have a good winter. We'll see you in the spring.